Hi, welcome to Thomas Brown Coaching. In today's video, I'd like to discuss feedback and kind of replace feedback with something else, another another system. Uh, I think, let's say, feedback, we, we know what it is. It's, let's say, when someone asks for feedback on something, uh, they're looking for your interpretation of the things that might not have worked during it could be anything really it could be a consultation it could be um a meeting it could be it could be absolutely anything really it could be a speech that someone made uh so usually what people do when there's feedback being asked they will write in the criticisms of what that person did wrong um, and what's wrong with, you know, the thing overall? I mean, the problem with feedback is that if you're just telling the person and if they ask for feedback and they get it off many people and you're just telling the person all the things they did wrong, you know, it'd be like if someone just told you and let's say a group of friends and when you're trying to give them an idea and all they told you was everything that was wrong with it and didn't tell you anything that was good with it. How would that make you feel? It would make you think that what you're doing and the idea that you had was just terrible and nobody would like it. And it was the worst thing ever. And the same goes for giving people feedback if they ask for it and also giving feedback in work. Um, you know, you want to make people more productive. And by doing so, by just pointing out what they did wrong, or pointing out weaknesses and how they do things. I think it just makes the person feel, you know, depending on the person, but it will make the person feel like they're not good enough, like they're not doing enough in what they do every day. And they're just not meeting the criteria that's expected of them. Whereas <laughs> the whole idea of feedback is to tell someone what they could do, you know, what they could do better, <laughs> if you know what I mean, to improve, rather than, like, that's the purpose of it, so that they can change it and they can make it better. But if someone's reading through all the criticisms and not seeing much kind of positivity from it, it can, you know, it can eat away at someone, you know. They'll take it very, some people will take it very personally and they'll let it get to them and that's not what it should be you know that's not what it should do so in my opinion there should be a replacement to um to feedback and to something more solution focused and problem focused you see i think i've mentioned this in a previous video when you focus on a certain thing that certain thing will grow so if you focus on problems you're very problem focused with your feedback that thing will grow into the to the person that you're feeding back to you know um or it has the ability to i think it takes a very strong person to not let it have that effect you know and um, to look just look at what you're doing wrong can be very demoralizing um so instead of looking at let's say negative aspects a solution-based approach is much better, in my opinion. Um, there's something called, that I like, there's something called feed forward. I know it sounds kind of funny. <laughs> you know, like feedback has net negative connotations, really. Um, it moves the person backwards. <laughs> you know, it's, it's in the name. Um, even though it's supposed to move them forwards and help them improve. Whereas feed forward is very solution focused. Like instead of focusing on the problems that the person might be, you know, might be having or issues that you might be having with their work or with their presentations or whatever it is, you focus on the good aspects, you know, the things that they did right and the things that they could do better, you know, um, not just the things that they did right, but what they could improve. It's like, so essentially you're saying that this is what you did right, but you can improve on in this area. So you're not saying that the area that they can improve on was a total write-off, <laughs> you know, in feedback. 
Uh, you're not adding too much negativity to it. You're just giving them, let's say, a baseline of this was good, but this could be better. You know, and I think that's a better, definitely a better approach to for employees anyway, um, for everyone really. You know, give them solutions. Now it's very hard to say, oh, this is what you did terrible. Not very hard to say it, but very hard to take it from for people, especially if it's their life's work. You have to understand they might be giving eight hours a day to it, only to be told this is not what they're doing. This is what whatever they're doing, they're not doing it right. You know. That's a big kind of kick in the teeth, really, for someone that's so committed in something after working for so long for someone to tell them that. But if you give them a solution, like this is what you can do better, you know, um, this is how you can do it better. You're essentially tell- giving a person a guide of how to do it as well, you know. And you're also saying what you did is great. And I appreciate what you're doing. Um, and... You know, you can improve on other aspects, you know, and it's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a great job. That's what the person will think, <laughs> you know, and it's so simple, like for something that has been around for so long, <laughs> it's very surprising that it hasn't really changed. And it's something that should be changed because at the end of it, like a job is a job. Yeah, fair enough, but it shouldn't be made more torturous than it has to be. So, you know, you're like expecting someone to come in, let's say eight hours a day. And then after a few weeks or a few months of that, you're telling them all the stuff that they did wrong <laughs> for eight hours a day, let's say 40 hours a week or more uh, or less, but more. And that's awfully demoralizing. Like, so it's not really considering the amount of effort that they put in. It's, it's kind of heartless, really, you know, to respond to them in that way. So, yeah, it's something that I think should definitely change to a more solution-based system. And it's something that people can take from it as well, take something out of it to say, oh, this is what I can change. This is what I can add onto what I already have and make it better. You know, instead of saying, (laughs) instead of someone questioning themselves, you know, oh, am I good enough? Am I cutting the mustard you know um do do people think i'm good at my job you know you don't want people questioning themselves you don't want them to bring that stuff home you know keep it in the work in the workplace Mm -hmm. keep it in the job um and yeah like these things if you just look at it in a different way and look at a deeper level and see how it affects people then you can see where the changes can be made and it's by taking different approaches onto systems that are already there for a long time you know looking looking at things in a new way that we can make things better for for people (laughs) and people's happiness is more important than any job (laughs) you know at the end of it so how do we make it better for them okay so that's Um, me for tonight (laughs) today (laughs) Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and please like share and subscribe as usual and if you want to leave a comment please feel free if you would like to contact me um, my website is www.thomasbrowncoaching.com my contact details are there and until the next video I hope you have a very pleasant day and a very pleasant week Take care. Bye-bye.